it's got mystery, it's got history, and it's got a train. You're a big train guy? Yeah, I'm a big fan of train mysteries. They're uh, among my favorites. Well, in that case, all aboard! All right, I'm not as excited anymore, but let's, let's get into it. William Desmond Taylor was a glimmering beacon in the cinema firmament. 40 movies in 1920 equates to two weeks of work. Yeah, because they did. <laughs> this movie's called Man Drops Potato. <laughs> he doesn't even have coffee in that cup. I can hear it. That was a fake sip. <laughs> Knowing Ryan's heart, the demon takes on the persona of Ricky Goldsworth, the free ballin', guns blazing outlaw. <laughs> free ballin'? <laughs> Freeballing? Wait, what the fuck? Free wheeling? I, free balling is a very different image in my head. Free balling means you don't wear any underwear. I do. Maybe Ricky doesn't. Just remember these odd details. I've committed them to memory. Good, good. Lock them in. Throw the key out. Okay, you could swallow it too. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so stupid. Good bit. Um, what do you think, Tommy? Oh, good. That responded just like the flashlight in the Sally house. I think my tummy thinks Joel the Ripper is a good theory. I think your tummy's got a demon. <laughs> Though, in 2005, Abbott mentioned, quote, one of them looked like Colonel Clink on Hogan's Heroes. That's all I can remember, end quote. Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's the best. <laughs> That's him. Well, but you know what they say. It's not all glitz and glamour. Wait, you just said that, right? Yeah. You know, ugh, I don't know how else to restate it. Sometimes <laughs> people get murdered in Hollywood. <laughs> um, from Weed. O U I I D. Oh, oh yeah, Weed? Weed, yeah, I guess that's how you'd say it, a Weed. Weed. Don't do that. Weed. Okay, stop that. Notably, none of the witnesses called an ambulance. Do you think there was one guy who was like, I'll call. Oh. He just got a firm <laughs> stare, everyone just <laughs> turns their heads toward him. I'd really like to know more about those bones that were found. Did they s <laughs> <laughs> What a normal show. <laughs> <laughs> Did they search anywhere else in the vicinity for the rest of the remains? <laughs> I'd really this like is... to know more about those God damn bones. It. We shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yet, this toothy tale doesn't end here. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> I love the way Ryan incorrectly pronounced Yari Luhalainen. Dr. Luhalainen. I thought it was Yari Luhalainen. Luhalainen. Yari Luhalainen. 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 Dr. Luhalainen. I know you don't like to hear this. This is sort of like my approach to a lot of these real mm -hmm. old true crime ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of the JFK approach. Oh no, approach. I know what you're going to hear. No, please don't say it. Let it be a mystery. Oh my. You know? We'll never know. Yeah. We'll just never know. You'd be a very, very bad judge. Why? Because yeah. let it be a mystery. <laughs> Crow is adjourned. Oh, wait a second. That's Elmer's glue under this yes, picture. I see. But she's not who she says she is. Mm. This is actually Frank Norris's, uh, uh, you know, or uh, I guess. Who's Francesca? Frank Nor Francesca Norris. What are you talking about? Because it would be she steals someone else's passport. Who's that? Who's Francesca Norris? Wouldn't you steal someone else's passport, paste a picture on top of it? I, I don't know. Who's Francesca it's Norris? It's a name I just made up. You just made up that name? Yeah. You're like a playwright. Back on over to Graham City. He was from It's Alfie. Pickles or potatoes? The, what the a fuck? A fun just- I mean, I think you're pretty fucked once he gets past the state border. Move to a new town, tell me, uh, hi there, my name's uh, Ricky Goldsworth. Ricky Goldsworth. You know, if you ever get tired of doing this, you can just move to a new town, tell him your name is Ricky Goldsworth, and yeah. you're done. You're set for life. Yeah, I'd tell them that. I want the top house. I want the top room. You can't just move into a town. No, no, no. And, yeah, yeah. No, so you yeah, can't yeah, just yeah, move yeah. into a town and take a house. I don't think you heard me. What? I want the best house in your neighborhood. And I want it stocked with food, Sir, furnished, you, and I want servants as well. I want butlers, and you're going to be one of them. Sir, you can't. You're I'm gonna not going to be, gonna be a butler. I'm the mayor, sir. No, that's not how this is going down. Oh, shit. Your outfit's in my car. I'll expect you at my house later, 8 a.m. Leave the keys under the mat. Yes, sir, Mr. Goldsworth. <sighs> Good Goldsworth. What a story. Gold Goldsworth is really coming into his own. You're talking to me? 
<laughs> Send in your questions after that to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page and the, we just touched hands there. That was strange. Uh, inst- <laughs> Story-wise, I could see why some people believe this, sure. But when you, when you really just think about it, nah. It's a I, little too soap opera. I'm not, yeah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Okay, great. I'm not. You don't have to. I'm good. good. It's not purchased. It's on the shelf. It's going to stay there. I'm not selling it. I, I didn't say you were selling it. Someone is. And I'm not buying it. I'm, this is a, this metaphor is, where, where are we in this? I don't know. The second victim, a 28-year-old man named Edward and Rossi, was found near Kingsbury Run at the base of Jackass Hill. That's, that's actually what that's named. I know that was going to elicit some kind of giggle. Sucks. So just get it. Sucks. <laughs> just get it out of the way. Oh my god, he literally went through every one of the VO files that I've recorded for Unsolved. Cut up little pieces of it to, to form this? You are insane! You are a madman! I can't believe- you, you know how much- You have any idea how long that probably took to do? Don't worry, I am Dr. Goodis. Anyway, tune in next week for the season finale of The Hot Dogga starring Ryan Bergara. What the fuck? We got him! No, you didn't get me. This, this <laughs> proves how crazy- We got him! This just proves how crazy you are. Don't worry, I am Dr. Goodis. Oh my god, you... I love it. I've never been more scared of you than in this moment. <laughs> how did you not realize that? Because I didn't think you'd be insane enough to comb through hours and hours of VO. I did. Wow. She cites sketches that place him in London in music halls at the time of at least three killings. By the way, anybody could sketch anybody. Like, I could just, that means if I drew a sketch of you murdering somebody back in the day, I could show up to the police station and be like, here it is. Here's evidence that Shane Madej in cold blood killed this woman dressed as a furry. And, and I then, feel like you would do that. And they'd be like, you're right. We've had a lot of reports that Shane Madej is in fact Slap a furry. Slap the cuffs on those hooves. <laughs> Fun of the corn, you like the corn? Oh my god, that door just opened on its own. It's not a ghost, Ryan, it's just a person. You're charged with various crimes, including allegedly harassing my dearest. Clubbles. Ex- <laughs> Here's even a picture of Detective Murillo undercover as a vagrant. That is the most cartoonish is the most car- hobo I've ever seen. <laughs> he looked like he watched a Bugs Bunny cartoon <laughs> in which Bugs Bunny was on the railroad. No, I don't think he'd ever overtake anything. You're doing it again. What are you talking about? It's, uh, it's getting creepy. What? What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was determined she had only been dead for about a half hour, meaning the killer was likely nearby when Cross first saw the body. Now, how did they, at this point in time, I don't know what their forensics are like, do, how do they know when, what a half hour is? Do they just sort of... Like, I mean, he just goes over. Let's yeah. see, that's uh, that's half hour blood right there. Yeah, that's 30 minutes. Mm. Maybe they had a bloodhound? I don't know. That's not bloodhounds. No, I, I, I don't know. I know bloodhounds use to track things, but I... You don't I, feed them blood and they don't... You don't feed bloodhounds bags of blood? You, you feed a bloodhound some blood and, and it, it goes, barks for every minute. And it goes, A positive, <laughs> universal donor. Dead for 30 minutes. <laughs> I like memes, I guess, says. <laughs> sure. She would later say, quote, he was dressed like my idea of a motion picture burglar, end quote. Sounds like a hunk. <laughs> it, right? Well, it sounds like someone went to Party City and was like, make me look like a criminal. You have a cape? No, he didn't have a cape. He wasn't Zorro. Yeah, I'm just saying you're not really giving this episode the fanfare it deserves because it's the beginning of a new season. Be excited. We, how? Yeah, better, better. Oh man, I can't wait to dig into these questions. <laughs> okay. All pristine tips. <laughs> pristine tips. I was about to say the boys are known for their pristine tips, but I don't <laughs> think I should say that. Moving on. <laughs> now, you may not be aware of this, but every now and then, um, I think you sort of black out and become someone named Ricky Goldsworth. Who's Ricky Goldsworth? I know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to you. What if you also sometimes black out and become this other person who is a backup dancer for Bruno Mars? I don't know what you're talking about. Troubling. Keep your mouth shut, long legs.
There were rumors that Shelby and District Attorney Woolwine were friends and perhaps romantically interested in one another, opening the door for some to suspect a cover-up. She's just sleeping with the detective? The district attorney. District attorney? Yeah. They're just like, a dame, huh? <laughs> I guess I'll cover up a murder for her, as long as she's smooching me. I will say I pronounce things wrong all the time, but not today. Former Sheriff Israel Beecham. Uh, I got news for you, Cleden. I actually looked up news reports of uh, this particular sheriff. He's introduced as Beecham. He even says his name is Beecham. So. How you like that, Clayton? Maybe you should do a little research before you go out and uh, call someone out on the internet. Just a thought, you know? I got him! Yeah! Hug me! Please, hug me! <laughs> A few love letters written by Mary to Taylor were found amongst Taylor's possessions, one of which read, quote, Dearest, I love you, I love you, I love you, X, 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 yours always, Mary, end quote. Not exactly a poet. Uh, <laughs> Very insistent. I was, I was shanghai This is bullshit. Y More like shanghai Oh my God. Venerable Dr. Gundis, what means of trial shall we grant to this criminal? Uh... Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So maybe, maybe. Any talk of mustaches in that one? I didn't look into that. No, maybe do a little more research next okay, time. Okay, well. On the mustache front. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure, it, I'll write that down here. Let me get that pen. Actually, I don't care. I don't, oh, I, well, what are you, well, what are you talking about? Me? Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh.